Hi everybody, I'm Omid and I come back with another amazing Power Query tips. Today I'm going to show you how to group every consecutive date. Consider this example including two column date and sales and I'm going to group these four rows because they are consecutive date and then these five rows because they are consecutive date. So we are going to group every consecutive date. In the first step, let's press Ctrl T and load data into the Power Query. To solve this problem, we just need an index column, no matter is it started from 1 or 0. In the next step, let's add another custom column into the table by using this formula, say number.from and using date minus index. And press OK. By doing it, you can see that for every consecutive date, it's provided the same result. So 45,292 is provided for the first four rows, and another value provided for the next five rows. This column can be used for grouping, so just right click on this and say group by the value. Instead of using count rows as an operation, use sum over the sales value and say total sales and press OK. This is the each group which is provided the total sales for each group separately, but we want to add another column which determine the range of each date for each group. So to do this we can use the third argument this is the first operation for the third argument which results in total sales we can add another one and say it's equal to date range and say each underscore this is a date range result in like this over all the value we just need the value on the column date the first one and the last one so let's write date here to extract the value on the date column but before doing this we need to convert the value from date to type text to convert the date type to text type we need to use list.transform so write list.transform form here and here say x equal to date dot to text x and y y y y dash m m dash d d and see the results we need another parenthesis to close and this is the result as the value here is in type date and time so instead of using date dot to text we need to use date time dot to text and see the result yeah if you want you can add more m here to convert the months to the text type over all the value inside the list we just need the first one and the last one so let's define a list with field A equal to the result of list that transform and then B equal to something and finally we set that result in B here and which B is equal to first value inside the A and a space dash a space and list dot last value inside the A this is the result of date range. It's mentioned that from the 1st of January to 4th of January, total sales is equal to these. We can add the number of rows also. To add number of rows, you can just add number of dates, which equal to each. Don't forget to add list sign here. Each table dot row underscore yeah we do not need this column anymore remove it 
this is the date range this is the total say and this is the number of rows you can provide it here also so the first row summarize the value for the first four consecutive dates this row provided for the next and the same for other rows